Hello Coffeeholic! Today is a requested video tutorial. I have shown you how to make vanilla sweet cream cold brew. But what if you don't have cold brew and you have a speed bar? That means you use espresso machine. Or if you have a mocha pot uh, coffee shop. Well, today I am going to show you how to make vanilla sweet cream Americano. Stay tuned until the end of this video clip and don't forget to click that subscribe button. For my vanilla sweet cream, I need three ingredients. One will be fresh milk, any milk of choice, and then we are going to use whipping cream. And of course, we're going to use vanilla. Now, for my coffee, I am going to use my single origin 100% Arabica coffee beans here, and I'm going to make them from the espresso machine and also from my mocha pot. So two different ways of making vanilla sweet cream Americano. First, let's make our vanilla sweet cream. For this, I'm going to use half milk and half cream. So I'm going to use a small proportion here because I'm going to just make two cups, 30 ml of my fresh milk. So make sure you shake your cream before you pour it, 30 ml, into my glass here, into my frothing cup, and then Make sure that your milk and your cream are cold. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of vanilla. Now, if you have a flavored uh, whipping cream with vanilla or some sweetener or caramel, you don't need to add this. But for now, this is plain, so I'm going to add just one pump or about 7.5 ml of my vanilla syrup. To froth, use an electric handheld milk frother. This will be the fastest way to make that vanilla cream. So notice that the volume of your cream is already doubled in size, so my cup is nearly full. Okay, so now that is my vanilla sweet cream. I'm going to put this aside for now and we're going to use it later. I need to pull a double shot. So double shot for me will be 60 grams of espresso from 18 grams of coffee beans. So I am using here my budget espresso machine. This is a Gemini 3200H with direct water connection and I'm using an on-demand coffee grinder here. Now even though I am using an on-demand coffee grinder, I still prefer to pre-weigh my coffee beans so that I know exactly that it will be 18 grams and I don't have to keep weighing my resulting, my yield from the, from the coffee grinder. So what I do is I put them in jars like this. Now this is perfect if you have um, a studio like me where you don't really uh, make a lot of coffee, but if for a coffee shop then probably it's not effective. But if you're not making them one after another, I would suggest that you pre-weigh, put in jars like this. They come in uh, six jars or 12 jars, so I think it would just save time. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put exactly 18 grams of coffee beans in my um, hopper here. Okay, now I'm going to pull my espresso shots. When pulling espresso shots, aim to get the right pressure. In this case, it is 9 bar. The flow of espresso should be regulated, not too fast and not too slow. For a double shot, I'm aiming to pull 60 grams of espresso between 25 to 35 seconds. Here, my dose was 18 grams, Yield was 60 grams and time to extract was 30 seconds. Okay, now I have my double shot of espresso here. Before I assemble the drink for my vanilla sweet cream Americano, let's make our other espresso using the mocha pot. I'm going to use a 2 cup mocha pot breaker which is equivalent to a regular 3 cup mocha pot. The yield for one brew is good for 1 16 ounce iced coffee. Into the boiler, pour about 120 to 130 ml of warm or room temperature water. As you can see, the water level is below the recommended water level for this mocha pot. This is my recipe for a concentrated brew, especially if making iced coffee. For the dose, I'm going to use 18 grams of coffee beans, grind medium to fine, closer to espresso grind. And now I'm going to fill my basket with the ground coffee. So it helps to have this dosing funnel here. Okay, make sure you put them all in the middle. 
Another useful tool is a needle stirrer which helps to distribute the grinds evenly in the basket. Now to assemble the pot. What I normally do because uh, I always get a leak in the smoker pot is to make sure that I wet my rubber gasket be before I put it back on there. And then I am going to also use a paper filter. This is just to make sure I get a more concentrated brew and even extraction. And so put it right underneath there and then just wet it so it clings to the filter plate and then we are going to lock the pot on. The vanilla sweet cream using espresso shots from espresso machine. Add water. Our espresso shots. I'm going to add some vanilla syrup. So this time I'm going to use just uh, two pumps or 15 ml of vanilla. So this is our vanilla americano stir. And this is vanilla sweet cream americano using espresso shots from the espresso machine. Now let's make our vanilla sweet cream americano using the espresso brewed from the mocha pot. So using the same cup size which is 16 ounces here, I am going to put the same amount of water, 120 ml of water and then I'm going to use the whole brew from the mocha pot. So all of it. So this is, uh, I would suggest that you make this per cup. That is all of my mocha pot coffee. And then I'm going to add vanilla. So also two pumps of vanilla. That's 15 ml. And now to just make sure they are all well combined. So very easy to make. It's really just Americano and you're just adding your vanilla sweet cream. Now how much do you put in each of the cup for each of the different cup sizes? Well you just make sure you have that thin layer on top. I think I might have put a little bit too much here um, but uh, it probably will become vanilla latte by the time I'm done with it. But look at that beautiful color of my vanilla sweet cream Americano using my mocha pot. Mm. The taste is like um, a refreshing taste, it's a strong coffee, I mean, you know, you saw how I brewed my mocha pot coffee, it was perfect, I would say it is perfect, but there's quite a lot of it there, so maybe there's about 3 ounces or 190 grams of um, coffee in there. Um, the taste of the Americano is somewhat retained with that addition of the creaminess of the vanilla sweet cream. Um, it doesn't taste like latte, not really. It still tastes of Americano. It's just creamy and of course it tastes of vanilla. Now the one where I use the espresso shots, I would say that normally the way to take this um, vanilla sweet cream Americano or even the cold brew is to sip it um, from the top but let me try it. Um, let me try the taste of the coffee underneath. This one, the color is also quite strong. If you compare with the one for the mocha pot, it still is stronger, although this one is only 60 grams of espresso, but pulled from the espresso machine. Mm. I would say that the taste of the coffee here is definitely stronger. It is balanced by the sweetness of the vanilla and also that um, vanilla sweet cream. Now if I sip it from the top, ooh, the taste of that vanilla sweet cream is really <laughs> delicious, really, really good. Mm. Wow, 
I think that it's better to sip it from the top. So if you are serving it in your cafe, I suggest that you use a sip lid so that um, your customers can just sip it from the glass instead of using a straw which starts from the bottom before the top because the combination of that cream as you sip it and the, the coffee that is what makes the difference in this drink the vanilla sweet cream americano i'd say equally good let me try it from the top that vanilla sweet cream is absolutely stunning fantastic i would say um equally good if you don't have an espresso machine you can also serve this drink using a mocha pot so what makes it special is that you don't need to use a cold brew which takes a long time and when you run out of cold brew then you cannot serve this vanilla sweet cream cold brew anymore because it takes a little bit of time but um, using the mocha pot espresso which is also kind of slow bar and also using the espresso machine which is the speed bar you can whip up this drink um, very very quickly indeed and serve these delicious drinks so that's all i would like to share with you today why don't you give these recipes a try offer this in your cafes or if you are um, making this at home do give this a try some shops they also call it uh, white cloud americano because i suppose it is a cloudy top there and um, whatever you call it it still is vanilla sweet cream americano that's all I would like to share with you today. If you have any questions about any of these recipes or the methods that I've shown you here today, do let me know in the comments below. And if I cannot answer, I'm sure somebody in the community will be able to help out. Don't forget to check out my books, All Things Milk Tea and The Basic Barista. Details on how to order in the description box below. See you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.